It's this place I just have to do for you. Hope this thing ain't too loud. I have to turn this off and then I'm gonna be sweating bullets. <laughs> what what's what's cracking, YouTube? Um Welcome. Welcome to the Fishy Biz Aquatics Hour. I am your host, Drew, aka the biz. The biz, the biz, the biz, the biz. Um whoever's out there right now, if you could let me know if everything sounds adequate before I bring the guest in, let me know that, you know, because I got this big air conditioning unit on here. I don't want to turn it off because if I go over to the wall and turn it off, I'll be sweating bullets in this thing. And I ain't trying to do that. So let me know if you can hear me really well while this thing is on. Whatever fish tropic you've been on my, you've been on my, you <laughs> You've been on my muffin all day. <laughs> Let me know what's cracking. <laughs> Melly Mel, what's cracking? Skulls, thank you for, for coming through. You know, Elizabeth, Florida Fish Rescue, thank you for going through and, and saying that it sounds good. I appreciate that. Well, look, I ain't even going to play with you, man. You already know what it is. It's, it's Ah, Jess is in this thing. Jess. Thank you for coming through. Just just has her own thing going on. Miss Lynn, thank you. Thank you for letting me know everything sounds good. Mains, tails, fur and fins, man. Just one of my favorite people. Uh, we have definitely got to get something together where we can be on each other's stuff. So um, I'm not even going. I'm not even going to. Yes, I am for like a second. Welcome to Monday. Guess what? I had to travel two hours away from the crib so I can be in this lovely Hotel room. <laughs> yeah, it's not ever as as nice as it was in Orlando, but hey, if you don't have to pay for it, man, I guess it's always good. But look, I had to go to a, a teacher's conference that I had already had signed up for before the pandemic that I had totally forgot about. Then they send you an email saying, hey, well, guess we'll see you, you know, on Monday for the uh, convention or the conference. And I was like. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> so, look, um, I made it on up here, made sure I got the Wi-Fi code, wanted to make sure that I got everything going because the show must go on. Listen, the man that I'm about to introduce that you guys already all know doesn't get Mondays off because we talked about this before. I wanted him on the hot spot before. I've been into his live before. You know, he goes on a little late. Or later. Um, and uh what up, PB? Danny Weshy was cracking. Um, Lonnie, aka Looney Tunes. Um, and he had to he had the time off, right? And I was looking for somebody to put in that slot because uh next week we'll have Zenzo from Tazawa Tanks, and the week after that, we'll have Ryan of Wild Fish Tanks, aka Lucky Schmuck. So um, I was like, I guess. You get just me and all my splendor. And he hit me up and he said, yo, I'm off. Let's let's get that hot spot popping. So you already know what it is. So it's your boy. And without any without any further ado, it's your boy. <laughs> you know who it is. Yeah. It's your boy. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, there it is. Coming at you on the Fishing Biz Aquatic. What's up, mm. Busy Chat? Man, the Busy Chat be busy, man. Hey, <laughs> thank you for coming through on your day off. Like I said, I'm not going to hold you, man, but I am so glad that you are here. Um, Always, when I was on your channel, uh, we just had a kismet, man, because we are kind of into the same thing. Uh, as far as helping these youngsters uh, reroute their their ways and kind of go the right way. So uh, with that, with that, man, I just, you know, we, we had some sort of a connection there. And uh, I've always wanted to make sure that I that I got you back. On, I mean, got you over here after we had that had that session in, in, in your live. But how you been, man? Man, hey, I bet not complain. I bet not complain. <laughs> I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, you know. I woke up, woke up this morning. Hey, then I took that little nap I was telling you about. 
I had to get this this coffin so I can chase off the ugly face. Cause y'all was gonna see me there looking all swole up and <laughs> hey. that's real. That's real. Um man, big tank. So um so this Monday, so this is was your off day, correct? So you've been able to kind of just catch up on some probably some well needed rest time or family time or something like that. What did you end up doing today? Actually, tomorrow is my off day. I go in at one. My normal work time is one in the morning. So okay. I was at work. Then I got off. It feels like an off day. If I don't go to sleep, it feels like an off day. Gotcha. So it's my regular. You know, I came home and I actually set up another 10 gallon down here, down here behind me uh, and chill. Chill pretty much the rest of the day. Tomorrow I might get into some things, though. Uh -huh. I just chill pretty much the day. All right. You know, very good. Any fish room work, you still chilling because it's not really work, you know. Yeah, it's a fact. It's a fact. Um, your last video you had an unboxing. Um, can you uh for those that didn't get a chance to check it out, definitely check it out. But um, what did you can you let everybody know what you pulled out and where you put it? I got some plants from Sean Peck. Now, I'm going to let everybody down because I still don't know what the plants are. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at you. I, I, did, you I did not look them up. You know, he said he was going, hey, man, I got you. You know, I did some clippings. You know, I'm going to send you some, some plants. I forgot they were coming. Got a little old notification, the concierge at my apartment over here, you know. That's the the little portal where you get your FedEx, you know, packages come in. They was like, hey, you know, you got some. I went over there. I'm like, man, what is this? You know, my aquarium box, what's going on? Do I have some fish? You know, that's what we're going to think of first, you know. For Open sure. it up. Plants on plants on plants. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Now, let me see. <laughs> see if I can turn this camera around because you always, you know, I'm always having to fight that thing. For sure. Uh, uh oh, that's the wrong one. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's see. Want to be winding up? <clears throat> Is it going to do it? Come on. Come on. Do you got it? Uh, uh, do you have it in your um your um circle thing, in your ring light? Is it some blocking the? Yeah, there it is. No, it's just acting a fool. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Now, I got this mouse. Can you see? Yeah. Uh oh, that was wrong. Uh oh, look, I'm pr I'm pressing, but here solo. All you uno nuno. Okay, I got a big clump of moss. I got it in a few places, but okay, I see that. In Snails the, all over. In the Serpe and Ember Tetra extravaganza. Very nice. I like those Serpes. That's how you, you got a Raz Boar back there too. Is that a brilliant? Uh -uh, those are um Ember Tetras. Oh, Ember Tetra. Okay. And, and there's like one, a, either a one black, black neon. neon. Yeah, one black, black neon. neon in there. Okay. And 10 surpays. Then, wow. Swing over here. Troublemaker back there. Melly Mill. Ah, uh, okay. Look at him. You know he, he in trouble. He in the corner. Some old mouse. All right, all right. Let me see. Let me move my chair here. And you run uh Eheim heaters, I see. Yeah. Yeah, I rock and them too. And this one, I got fire tetra slash glow light tetra. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, you can't beat that's dope. All right. It might be the glare of Tropico. <laughs> Momo. Okay. 
That plant was one. Okay. That's nice. If anybody can identify the plant, throw it in the chat for me. That looked like uh, horns work right there, though. Oh, no, that's mine right there. You know, I'm, I'm the horn, horn king. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Look, I recognize something. Look. <laughs> Got five neons in this one. Mm hmm. I can't keep neons alive to save my life. I'm about 13 of those jokers. Well, that five used to be um, 10. And then I got some Val right there. I know what those were, but they melted okay. back. So okay. I'm leaving them there. I'm not going not gonna to panic like I used to do in the past. They say if you just leave them there, they're going to grow back. Right. And if then, you leave it, they will grow. And then the one right here next to it leaves started falling off of it too. But y'all saw them. When you watch the video, you'll see that I had a um a big Texas heat uh, beat down mm -hmm. on before I could get to them. Right on. And then these little floaters right here. Okay. What's them lily pads? Like frog bit like. Is that what it is? I think they're frog bit. They look a little bigger than frog bit though, but yeah, that was close. The lily pads are actually like a, a bulb is down in the substrate and then it the shoot comes up and the leaf opens up. On oh, the okay. Okay. All right. Let me see. They did. The uh, chat is digging the glow Tetris. And uh, somebody said the Serpes was hot too. And then here I got some blood fins and some Buenos Aires. Okay. Oh, and some uh, some long fin Daniel. Uh, yeah, yeah, them Daniels rock out too. They were originally dithers, but they um they <laughs> looking real good. And <laughs> they end up staying. I got some dithers now that I I did my 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 beta uh my 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 beta uh soror sorority. Now that now it's they tank. <laughs> some some X, X ray Tetris, they just own it now. <laughs> it's like, dang. Yeah, them dithers become the main attraction in some cases. All right, let's see. Can we do this again? It's always a learning lesson. Man, it's going to pop. So let's go through with the with the whole the whole shebang bang for those people that don't know Big Tank Hank. You've been in the game for how long, G? Uh about 30, about 30 years. I'm 49. I've been catching fish and everything else mm. and putting and putting them in glass boxes for about 30 years. Mm -hmm. Come on mm -hmm. now, stop phasing now. Stop doing it now. Okay. <laughs> and you are in uh uh Katy, Texas. Katy, Texas. Okay. All right. Born and raised in a little town called Hempstead, Texas. Okay. Which is about mm, 30, 40 minutes from me right now, but the town mm, from five to 7,000 people, you know, my whole life. For sure. There he is. Chase yeah. Wizard. <laughs> Big Tank Watts. <laughs> <It's the boy. laughs> now, what I also thought was interesting, I've never, I've never seen a black cowboy. And uh, you you were telling me your, uh, your uh, well, you were on another stream talking about your exploits in, in, in cow wrangling or horseback riding or rodeoing or something you was doing. Let the people know one time. I rode bulls. Hey, for um cactus woman said the mustache was cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got back this, in my rodeo days, it was the Steve all Harvey. Way down here. Ah, uh, that's that uh <laughs> yeah. you had the uh the uh Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, back back in the day I used to ride bulls. Let me see if I can. I don't know if y'all can. Hold on. Let me hit, let me get you with the solo joint. Hold on. Let me get you. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Okay. All right. So that's the oh, okay. So that's the whole guy on a bull. Yep. Okay. Eight seconds hey. of glory, what it says at the top. 
Yeah, I used to. I used to do first. I started because I was always a big boy. You know, I was over two twenty when I graduated high school. You know, I mm. want the rodeo. You know, I uh, I still like football, but it was something about me going to practices. You know, and learning the plays mm. and running around and mm. hitting people every other day except for Fridays that I didn't really like. You know. Yeah. <laughs> if I could have just showed just showed up on Fridays, it would have been fine with me, but they didn't do it like that. So, but I was always interested in in um in rodeo, I mean riding horses, anything out in the out in the sticks, man. That was yeah. that was I was all about. So I did something called steer dogging, which is is uh I started out shoot dogging, you do it on the ground. Steer dogging is when you fall off the horse onto the steer. Grab him by his horns, twist his neck, and use his momentum to flip his body over till all four legs stick out. You know, like he can't he can't just sit down. You have to flip him. Okay. And he land on his side. And as long as all four legs are in the clear, which again, you have to learn to do it properly because it's safer. Like twisting his neck and all that, you know, at full speed is safe, but it's safer as long as they you give them to lay down right. Man, but for I, sure. I didn't, you know, I didn't think falling off of a perfectly good horse <laughs> at 20 miles an hour, possibly missing the steer and hitting the ground. I didn't think that was a good idea either. Hey, some people jump out of planes for nothing. You jump off a perfectly good horse for nothing. <laughs> yeah, so you know, it was something about it. I always had this little old um, you know, uh uh what is it uh what do they call it uh adrenaline adrenaline junkie miss you know going on so i said get on on these bulls and see what they talking about okay and it was just it was just something about it man it was just you know it was just something about it. and i've always been a big boy so you know in order to ride bulls and to go to the next level you have to be kind of small yeah yeah you know so i mean i was okay i rode a little bit in college I was okay, but you have to do too much work when you're big. You know, when you're a big fella, you have to do too much work to stay up there. You can't, you can't just go on balance. So I stopped doing that and went went into the regular regular realm. I still have boots, jeans, cowboy hats, but yeah, I haven't been on a bull in a bunch of years. <laughs> man, man. And then I guess where you're at now, uh, dealing with uh, 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 your uh, the, your job that you're currently in, is that is that was that directly after, or was that uh, you had something in between that? No, I, uh, I always worked as a youngster. I worked. I always worked, but I worked at a car a car dealership in the town I grew up in. I was there. Oh, about a hot 15 years. I, I came in the door uh, sweeping floors, sweeping, mopping floors, dumping trash. And, um, you know, we had the, the economic debacle in 09, and it affected a lot of dealerships and, you know, uh, people's homes and whatnot. A lot of dealerships closed. And that dealership that I worked at, on the day of its closing, I was um, assistant make-ready manager, and I was receiving manager. All, right. all at the same time so you know i was at this point i may have been the general manager of the whole dealership because i was you know You're moving up yeah i was climbing right so i did that for for like i said 15 years and then i was apprentice i was an apprentice butcher i worked at an auto auction where i did um online condition report writing meaning if you were going to bid on a car online at this particular um, yard, I was your eyes and I was your ears. I was your touch. I had to tell you everything about that vehicle, good and bad. So if you made a bid on it, you had to be comfortable, you know, with what you were going to receive, you know, shipped to you. Uh, you, was, I, uh, I, you was a big tank CarMax before. Yeah. That. Right okay. on. Oh, then I'll tell you a secret. <laughs> When you know the Carfax, yeah, it's not a 
<laughs> Not accurate. <laughs> because if if you can get a a deal with Joe Blow's body shop down the street, and a lot of a lot of loaner car places do this. Yeah, you can tell them I told I told it. I'm telling it all, I'm giving the game. But uh, if you can get a deal down the street where they'll fix your fenders, paint your bumpers, you know, and don't put nothing in the computer system, if you go buy this used car with a clean Carfax, don't mean that that car didn't have a head-on collision and the frame was bent and... Dang. Uh, dang, it's a cold game. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so so from there now you are um what's I guess your title is is it correctional officer? I'm a I'm a I'm a sergeant, but I work in food service. Oh, I went to a sure I went to work at um the sheriff's department in my small town. That's how I started. Okay. Working in, in corrections. I was okay. at the sheriff's I was at the sheriff's department for oh about two years. I had a um my own security company. Uh, silverback protection team. We did clubs, parties, concerts. You know, okay. If you if if you wanted to feel comfortable in any establishment where you spent your money to enjoy yourself, if mm -hmm. you knew I was working that night, you knew you was guaranteed. It's good to go to enjoy yourself. Then after that, I went to working in the prison facilities, which will be it's seven years now. There's some gaps in there, y'all. Don't don't do the math. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I've, had, I've touched down at, a, at over 50 different places as a job. Some places half a day, some places a whole day, some places a week. You know, we're going to get it. We're going to get it to all of them. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do that. We're going to get it to all of them. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, um, have you, uh, have you uh, went to any. Uh, local bodies of water and collected on collected fish out of there or been on a fish collecting trip no looking forward to it i've been on a lot of mud collecting trips because i like to use <laughs> pond, <laughs> pond mud <laughs> in my tanks but no i hadn't pulled any livestock out and put it in the tank plants i've used some plants over the last few years you know native plants uh no fish yet Okay. See uh, down here, man, it's you know in Texas, man, we have gambusia. I don't even see melanistic gambusia here. You know, you just got mosquito fish. We have gambusia. If you don't get gambusia, you have your little darters and things like that. But everything down here, man, in the streams, not not on the coast per se, but in the little streams and ponds, man, are like drab. You know, there's no there's no color. I mean, I don't know why. Our little native fish, dude, you just like native fish, so you just get them. But there's no color, really. There's... Yeah. Yeah. Now, I was in Texas for a week last week, family family reunion. Uh, Gaveston for three days, which it rained for about an hour, sunshine for two, rained again for about an hour and a half, sunshine for three, go to bed, do it all over again. <laughs> It didn't when, snow. It did not snow. Oh. <laughs> it was it supposed to snow. <laughs> it's, it's Texas, man. That's terrible. That's not like this. That's not like Midwest <laughs> weather. <laughs> That's not like Midwest weather. <laughs> In Texas, it might it might snow at eighty five degrees. You just never know here, man. Cause you, some stuff man. happened weather wise here. Super humid too. Super humid too. And the kids just wanted to jump into the uh to the ocean. So they played in the ocean for a while. Um, then left there and went to the Soto, uh close to Dallas. And that's where the rest of the family was was at. And uh hot in Texas, but some nice brick houses, like some seriously nice housing in Texas, like for real, for real. And they if you're coming from somewhere else. You'll feel like they're giving them away. Exactly. Exactly. Because I'm looking for a new spot myself out here in St. Louis. And please, 
for I could have took this money down to Texas and maybe gotten the big boy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That a car right there. He didn't came on out. Yeah, so he he went <laughs> he went he went stone crazy a few minutes ago. I don't know, you know, his attitude just went off. But he chilling now. He good. <laughs> but, but yeah, man. Hey, hey, you can get you a five hundred thousand dollar mansion here, California. The house would be over a million dollars. You can get in Texas for a good five hundred thousand. Four hundred, four hundred thousand. If it's got a little age on it, but they, you know, they took right. care of it. You know, took care of it real good. But yeah, it's now. If you're here all the time and you never went anywhere else, <laughs> it's still, you know, high as well. You know, I'm not going to go into the old school vernacular, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was impressed. I, I really like the neighborhoods look clean, look very nice. And they were fully brick. Most places you get a brick front paneling on the rest of the house. This was fully straight up brick. And PB, it was hot and humid. I ain't never felt nothing like that Florida heat. That Texas heat is close, though, man. <laughs> but that Florida heat smack you right in the face, make you not want to the shower. <laughs> hey, I haven't felt Florida heat yet either. But you, if you come, <laughs> if you come here at the right time, man, I, I don't know if Florida is gonna come back, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. And it was something hey. that. Ooh, look, it's like you're in the jungle and there's nothing jungle about it. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, both heats make you feel extremely dirty and sticky, though. Like, you could have just got fresh out the shower, boom. You walk outside, ugh, I got to go right back in and take another shower. <laughs> they that type of heat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I ask everybody, recommended starter fish. And, you know, you've got, you've just showed us a few of your, of, of your beauties. What would you recommend for some of my, my high school students starting off with a starter fish? Miley's and platys. Not going to say guppies. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even tell them guppies. I couldn't keep 10 of no. them. <laughs> yes, no. I I actually did start with guppies back in the day, but 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 uh no, you nowadays ah uh, you better if you can get you a good a good mud guppy, you might you might be able to do something. But platters, man, platters and mollies, man, I, they don't they seem a little uh, bulletproof to me. They don't. Part of you, yeah, yeah. I don't see no no issues. Starter fish, get you some. Cold fish, no, because they hulling your tank out. You know, you water trash all the time. Uh, you know, that, yeah. yeah, they'll live through it, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. We can rock with mollies and platters. I'm with that. Um, have you ever kept anything or keep anything besides fish currently? All we have is a, a Yorkshire Terrier named Teeny. Okay. Teeny's 12 years old or something like that. He, he's a he's an old fella. But in the past, let me see. Let me get right. Tarantulas, toads, bullfrogs, skinks, Nile Monitor. Oh, snap. Cayman. King snakes, roly polies, <laughs> crickets. Oh my God! You kept uh, all of that? Man, I've had crawfish. Um, I'm down with the crawfish. I can rock with that. Turtles, turtles. Um, I rock with them too. Aquatic and terrestrial. Um, I'm probably still missing a lot of stuff. Um, Fish truck right? says. Convicts and ace murderers, ex murderers, <laughs> kept them all. Inmates, he keeps inmates as <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, yeah, good four days a week, 10 hours. I got some keys in my hand with you know, with bars and doors. So, technically, yeah. I feed them, I feed them, and I water them. 
So yeah, I guess. For sure. <laughs> you know, politically, politically correct. You know, outside of you know fishy beers, aquatics. <laughs> but hey, right now, you know, hey. <laughs> so, hey, you you keep them in their cages. You feed them in water. <laughs> yeah. That's that's pretty like I love the I love the fish chat. These cats be they they be thinking and they hilarious and they are rude as hell. Um <laughs> what, what has fish been tropics, man? What's going on, fish tropics? Hey, he's something else, man. <laughs> oh, your biggest yeah. tank disaster that you can remember. And it's oh, got to be a memorable one or it wouldn't be the biggest one, I would think. Oh, man. Forest. That's the one? Hey, that was, man, three months ago, four months ago. I remember. I remember with the 40, <laughs> the 40 breeder crash. Me and the forty breeder crash into the garage wall. <laughs> hey, that that was atrocious. Now wait a minute. You did you slip, fall, or and you was holding it this way and ran into the wall, or you fell back into it? Hey, it it should have been like a oh, movie, man. Sure, man. The 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 guy, you know, the, the couple was bringing the tank to me. I was we was they were getting two twenty longs from me. And I was getting the forty breeder from them. Little fella, you know, little bitty fella. He's okay. holding the tank. He's in my yard. I said, hey, let me get that. How little? Like Joe Mills little? Like little Munoz? Munoz? Hey. Munoz? Hey, Joe, I'm not going to do it to you, man. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> knee, knee high to a June bug. The little. <laughs> hey. I went and got it from the guy. Let me take that from you. I'm walking to my garage. There's a bucket on the, you know, in the garage. I say, hey, let me sit the tank on the bucket. Everything's fine. I lean, seems like this much, forward. And in slow motion, I kept going. Oh, my God. And it was only slow motion because, okay, <laughs> I'm decently strong. Balance was off. Feet was in the wrong place. So my body was fighting against it. And it was going very, very slow. So I'm looking at the bucket. And the wall is right there. Now, mind you, I start raising up on my toes. I'm going to miss this bucket. Damn. And the wall just happened to be close enough. I'm thinking, I'm, well, let me hit my head on the wall. But the tank is way out here. Dang. So the tank hit the wall first. And the rest of big tank, Hank, just accordioned the 40 breeder. <laughs> and it, it started going into my arm. Oh, man. I was leaking like a, like a, a stuck pig. Oh, my God. But, hey, I put some paper on it. I took him to the fish room and, and commenced to talk to him for probably 30, 40 more minutes. Did you really? Why they're sitting there looking at my arm like bleeding? Are you okay? So put some I'm duct like, hey. tape. I'm some like, hey, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Look up here. Look, look up here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> look up here. <laughs> Need some robotussin and some duct tape. Yes, the dirt. Yeah, put a little tussin, mo tussin, mo tussin. That's all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, that's messed up. Uh, now, that's biggest tank disaster. Give me your biggest rookie mistake. You've been in the game for thirty years. You made a rookie mistake. What was it? What would happen? Oh man! When I killed all them Chinoides about. A couple of months ago, after I, moved in, after I moved in here, a couple of months ago, everything a couple of months ago. <laughs> well, see, the tank may have been five or six months ago. Now that I think about it, okay, it's been a while, you know. Okay, you know, it, was, it was like a blur, but the Chinoides was like two months ago. It was it was right after we moved into the new place. Okay, all right, and um, my 
deduction is it was a temperature issue because everybody was chilling from the other house over here everything is going like normal next thing i know one one of my adults die in this tank over here because the, the pear is in this tank and the fries and the, the fries in this tank so i lose one of the pair over there i'm like oh my god what's going on <laughs> it's not affecting nobody else mm. nobody else everybody's good i'm like okay oh man r.i.p r.i.p bro you know i take mm. him out i go another day the female i find her oh man oh my god what's what's happening what's happening and then the the fry start whoop, 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 in the other tank oh my god <laughs> unless now maybe i introduced some foreign substance that only affected the betters i don't know it was my, you know, my daughter had decided, you know, she was going to touch the thermostat because she's 18, you know, and graduating high school, you know, she thought she was grown. So I had a, I had lectured about a day before the first fish died about the air condition. Mm. Mm. That's why, I, that's why I thought it was, I found, I'm like, Hey man, what's going on? Who did this? And like 24 hours later, they start. Oh man. That sucks. Yeah, that that sucked. That sucked bad. It's <laughs> a hell of a rookie mistake. Ooh, that sucked bad. I don't look. I'm afraid to even touch another wild beta right now, man. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> the wild beta kingdom probably won't let you. Oh no, Ooh. big tank, big tank, heck, no, no, <laughs> no more betas for you. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I look, I heard you up. I said, hey, I, I went got a whole bunch of Tetris. I said, I want to just come in here and do this. <laughs> That's crazy. That's beautiful. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, right. hey. Yeah, that was that was crazy. Uh, uh you have a lot of 10 gallons. You have some 20 longs, possibly. But what was your very first tank size you ever had? 10. It was a 10. Okay. It was a 10. And then I, my mother bought me the 10. It was a Christmas present, I think, one year. Because I, I was doing the little um, um, county fair goldfish, you know, in the little bowls. So she was like, hey. You know, you always trying to keep these fish. Let me hook you up. For sure. Boom. 10 gallon. You know, the 10 gallon that every every weekend we would take all the fish out and soap and water it down. Mm. Clean the rocks. You know, and put everything back in it. <laughs> that 10 gallon. And after that, I ended up getting a 5 gallon. That's why I say platties and mollies. Okay. Because they lived through all of those thorough cleanings of the tanks. And I had fry everywhere. Fry would just be boop, 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 boop. So, hey, <coughs> these, these platters and stuff are pretty cool. So, I got a little five gallon to put my fry in. But, uh, yeah, that's my start. Ten gallon. He's definitely Punisher, Tropico. But he's also Blade when it comes to a 40 gallon. Tank disasters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, kind of Wolverine-ish on the the taking of damage. Yeah, yeah, you okay. Know. I see that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to see claws morph? <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> yeah. All right. What would you say to your 25-year-old self? You're 49 currently. What would you say to your 48? What would you say to your 25 year old self? Do you remember 25? Yeah. What 25, 25 yeah. year old, not, not younger, the 25 year old self. 25. You went back into the future with Doc. He was like, come on, Hank, let's go back to the future. <laughs> he saw your 25 year old self. What would you tell him? Be, be more patient with other people. 
Okay. Um, and less judgmental, which okay. they go together, but yeah, that's that's what I would tell myself. You yeah. Know? All right. I'm with that. Well, I'm looking at <laughs> looking, <laughs> I'm looking at the clock and uh <laughs> I got time today, but let's get into what you really came here for. Busy fish chat. You already know what it is. We're not going to play around with them. <laughs> let's get up close and personal with a little big tank. Hank, enough of the fishy talk. Let's get cracking. You already know what it is. <laughs> fishy Biz Aquatics and Big Tank Hank. It's going to be a crazy one. It's a lot of live streams on Monday, but this is going to on Monday, but this is going to be your favorite one. And guess what? I'm not going to play with them. Here we go. I'm going to try to channel Warrior Planet Tank Steve. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> uh, okay, you don't want. All right, okay. I, you know, I thought, you know. That boy almost got me kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. I won. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> this is it. Big Tank Hank, these are all your favorites. Your favorites. And we're going to start off with some easy ones and then we're going to roll right into your real life. What are your favorites? But we're going to start it off like this. Real simple. What's your favorite fish? You have a you have a few. Over 30 years, you've acquired quite a bitty. What's your favorite fish? Favorite fish right now would be snakehead. Legal, a two, uh, a tuta, which is a wild, and tuta, which is a wild better. So there you go. Mm -hmm. I had to give you two because one of them, you know, I can't legally own. Gotcha. So you gave me an illegal fave and a okay. All right. I guess you, yeah. you played it. You played it right, right there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know your first tank size was a ten, and I noticed that you have tens and twenties. But what's your favorite tank size? Forty breeder. Because I love, I love the foot, like the footprint. That's that's why I like the 20, 20 longs like I do. But that forty breeder might be my perfect, you know, tank size. Okay. Favorite substrate to use? Pond mud, capped with uh, any type of gravel, black gravel. Uh, no, not any kind of gravel. Not pink. Not blue. Black or a natural, you know. Uh, layered brown sure oh like, okay like a normal playground gravel type style yeah okay all right favorite bottom feeder mm. man i would have to say a whip tail catfish i've never had one okay i just i kind of like the way they the way they look but I'm afraid I might kill. I might kill it, so I don't. I've never bought one. <laughs> I want to say Jay Watts just got some whipped. I'm really digging my Farrowella cats. I've never seen it, and I bought two of them from uh, uh, Pet Supplies Plus from Danny Weshy. Shout that out to was, Danny. Uh, about a month ago. Yeah, they yeah. still. I, I, I really well. Yeah, yeah. Um, two of your favorite fish that are best friends. Anytime you put you see these two together, they go great together. Guppies and platy. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, favorite filtration to use? Hang on the back. Say that again? Oh, hang, hang on, on the back. back. Okay. Hot, hot rod and hang on the back. Okay. All right. Uh, two fish that are enemies. Never should put them together. Oscar and goldfish. <laughs> for for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite place to buy fish? Man. Right now might be um pet supplies plus. Really? Down in Texas. All right. Well, look, I'm buying every, my fish from there. Every fish I just showed you, that's where it came from. 
I'm loving it. I, I didn't even know they sold fish till Danny told me to come check them out. Danny Weshy right here in the chat. Man, I went up there and blew my mind some of the selections that they have. Yep. Well, enough about that. Let's get into it. What's your favorite fast food joint? Uh, I know you're down there in Texas. I just came down there. Y'all got in and out and Whataburger. I had to get both of them. B-O-F-F-U-M. <laughs> both of them. And my favorite is Taco Bell. Is it really? Oh, my God. Okay. Now, what's, what's... I eat I eat so much Whataburger here because of, of the family. You would okay. swear that was my favorite. But it's okay. not. I'm just always outnumbered. Okay. Okay. But Taco Bell is it really? Yeah. What's your? Do you get the same thing? No. You get whatever that there's, five dollar deal is, don't you? <laughs> uh. -uh. There's three. There's three things: chalupa. Okay. Gordita. Okay. Or that, or that um that that ninety nine. Well, I don't even know if it's still ninety nine cents now. The soft taco, just the regular soft taco, beef, sour cream. You know, cheese up in that thing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. cold, like they just got it out of the refrigerator. They <laughs> Thanks to that sour cream. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. I like it. I like it for whatever reason. Okay, I ain't mad at you. Look, I, I get a just went yesterday. I get um the three soft taco supreme. Love that. Whatever's on that five dollar, I'm looking. I'm I'm most likely getting it. The naked chicken taco is what they just took off. They, every time they switch it up, I'm going for it. It's something on there. Going to the Nacho Bell Grande, I'm going for it. The Gordita, the Joe <laughs> with the other joint. Oh. I'm getting that too. <laughs> oh, what's your favorite breakfast food? Uh, sausage. The pan sausage type. The what? Pan sausage, you know. Oh, the flat the patties. Yeah, shout out to Patty. They say I'm. Patty. I'm from Texas, you know. So a lot of people they know the patty because when they see it, it's a patty. Yeah. I come from. I come from. Flat in the flat. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pan sausage, you know. I got. You. It, yeah. <laughs> and it cook that that joint cook up quick, don't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Sausage is your favorite breakfast food. What you eat it with though? It depends. Uh. If I'm feeling, you know, single de Mayo ish, you know, I break out some um some uh flour tor tortillas, you know, okay. queso, you know, okay, okay, you know, picante, you know, okay, all right, some, some or other than that, very seldom pancake. Okay, I might make might make a sandwich. I mean, you know, but usually, okay. usually I'm putting it in a yeah. tortilla. You got options, tortilla. With some salsa. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite dessert? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. They, these type Brownie. of Brownie. Is it really? See, I'm a, what? what? I'm a carb head. Okay. Okay. And okay. especially when I'm deep in the gym, when, when I when I didn't lock back in, you know, I, I don't even need protein, you know, but I'm a carb head. So cakes, cookies, you know, all of that. But yeah, man, you give me a you give me a good brownie. And I'm talking about the almost dry brownie, not the fudge brownie sticking in my what? teeth. What? I'm okay. talking about. Hey, people, years ago when I worked at the dealership, if you wanted me to fill in for you, all you had to do was buy me Monster Energy drinks and brownies. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a stomach ache waiting to happen. <laughs> uh, favorite cereal? Ah, Cocoa Krispies and um, what's the other one? The uh, Cocoa Pebbles. And man, what is up with you people and these pebbles, man? Fruity pebbles, cocoa. Pe it's a million flakes in a bowl that's soggy in 3.2 seconds. But to me, it's a better, it's a better soggy than like your um very great, you know. <laughs> the frosty. That's a, that's it a takes forever soggy, to get man. You would have ate them by then. It takes forever for them to get soggy. <laughs> man, them pebbles get soggy as soon as soon as soon as wet hit them. No, I, <laughs> I think I 
I think I intimidate Frosted Flakes because they be so <laughs> soggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Favorite, <sighs> favorite sit down to eat restaurant. Papa Do's. Papa Do's. Very good. Thank you. I love that. I had it one Alligator time. Alligator at Papa Do's. And I think I did have the gator at Pop Nose. I, for some reason, I think everything they cook over there is fire. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. well, Pop Nose has got my vote. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite food to cook, though? Man, nothing. <laughs> uh, I've been in food service for seven years. I used to cook all the time. I mean, I still like the thought. A barbecuing, I like the thought of it. Okay, but I don't like to cook nothing, man. Cause I food is up around my ears, man. Four days a week, feed feed eight hundred people. You know, uh, amount of food. You know, so right. I don't want to. Yeah, that's food. right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, yeah. You you in the business of, of food, so, so it I'm makes a big. I'm gonna say barbecue if I ever decide to buy another grill. Cause I didn't, I didn't even buy a grill. I had a grill, my whole look like whole adult life until I moved down here. Okay, okay. And I, I haven't owned a grill since I've been here. We've been here going on four years now. Texas and no grill. That sounds like uh, blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Favorite wrestler for Big Tank? Hey. There's a mixture, but uh, ah, junkyard dog. Yeah. Okay. I, you know, like I say, there's oh man, okay. I'm, I'm from I'm from that era. So yeah, got, yeah. You know, I got your Butch Reeds. You know. Okay. Okay. The Road Warriors. You know, okay. just because because of the muscles. Um, but junkyard dog, man. Junkyard okay. dog. He didn't, right. he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't get his he didn't get his flowers, man. When he yeah, you know when, yeah. when he was here, it's man. True. He, you know he I tell he you could what, have been bigger than Hulk Hogan, man. The new Rock show, uh, The Rock, his his it's called Rock The Rock. Oh, like a little kid growing up. Yes, has his dad was a wrestler and his best buddies was Junkyard Dog, Andre the Giant, and they did some replicas of these guys. You, the first episode, you'll love it. They, they just show these guys and they all they splendor and the wrestlers and they all up in up up in uh, the Rock's house, just kicking it. Okay, you know what I'm okay. saying? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. First episode of that, I was like, what? Oh, uh, yeah. This is what's up. <laughs> Check that out. Uh, favorite type of music? Oh man. Um. Ah. Uh, that's hard. That's hard. All right, gotcha. Because it depends on what I'm doing. Um, okay. all right, country music. Oh, really? <laughs> I have to say, I have to say, country music. I mean, okay, okay. I'm okay. a, you know, if I'm in the gym, you know, I listen to some rap that you know a lot of people on here will be like, oh my god, you're you're listening to that. Patty might like it, but you know, <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh my god. Don't play that loud in public. I mean, you know, <laughs> what did he just say he was going to do? I mean, you know, that's just in the gym. Got gotcha. you. Just in the gym. Got gotcha. you. Rolling around in the car? It's country. No, podcasts. Oh. I do roll around with podcasts. I do that. See, yes. that's why That's why I said it was hard. Because I, I got don't you. really listen to music like that no more. So when you pick country, when do you listen to country? Uh, mm, that's just the one that I know the most of. So you know, there was a time in life where I knew every country song on the radio. George Strait, country singer. I have sixteen George Strait CDs right now. You oh know, so God. who? You know, oh yeah, you need to look that up, George. Who is it? George, George Strait. Cooper Milling Camp. Who? Oh no, no, George Strait to make. <laughs> George Strait to make you like country music, man. All right, we'll see. <laughs> Pardon uh, me. You left your tears on the jukebox. I'm afraid they got mixed up in mine. Oh. 
I don't want to take the show over, man. I don't want to do it. And I almost almost removed you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> Chad, y'all going to let him do that to me? Come on. Come on. <laughs> I haven't been looking, man. You're going to make me start for a minute. <laughs> I need y'all to defend me, man. Don't. It's tripping right there. He was tripping. They, never, they got your back. They got your back for sure. Uh, what's your favorite soft drink? Root beer of any kind. I can rock with root beer. I got to be in root beer. Well, I almost got to be in root beer mood because some because we got Barks, we got an AW, we've got Fritz's root beer, which makes their own, which is outstanding, and they are bottling company too. But uh, yeah, I can rock with root beer. Yeah. Um, the, the, the Fritz that who who has the little the little guy with like the the winter cap on? Um, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, it's like a little, kid. it's like a little, it's an old school company. But it's mm. like, you know, off to the left, off to the left, off to the right, right one of them. But it's like Frosty Mug or something, Frosty. Oh, frosty. yeah, okay. That's That sounds about right. Frosty. Yeah, that's about frosty. Them mugs are, Frosties, the mugs are hella sweet, though. Yeah. They got a lot of sugar in them. Yeah. Frosty and some ice cream. Oh, okay. All right. You 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 got you got a sweet tooth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite app? Ooh, my favorite app. Uh YouTube. Okay. And uh what's your favorite holiday? Mm, man. Off work. I mean, uh <laughs> Man, I don't have one. Okay, they're all yeah. too commercial. Okay, I can hear that. I can hear Christmas. that. Christmas is not about Christ. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't. You got me on that one. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite celebrity crush. My wife, if she was a celebrity. Oh, Y'all look at that. Look at the TikTok. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> hey, one, one Christmas, I was at my aunt's house, me and my wife, my cousins and their, you know, spouses. And this is when Kobe, you know, Kobe was still alive and uh, the Lakers were playing somebody. Mm -hmm. And they were over there like, um, she was like, oh, Kobe, blah, blah, blah. And then he he said somebody, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> I said, I said, y'all married. I said, don't let me ever hear you out loud say you have a crush on anybody. <laughs> That's what you said to your wife? No, 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 no. I was telling them. Oh, oh. Like they were kids. Yeah, like yeah. they were children. I chastised them. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my wife ain't got to worry about that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. What's your, your favorite ice cream flavor to drink with your root beer? It would be vanilla with the root beer. Okay. Uh, overall, cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Okay, that's right. You say you do the brownies and ice cream, correct? Is that what it is? Yeah. Or was it root beer and ice cream? Okay, all right. Root beer and ice cream. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cookies and cream for your fave, though. Yeah, just my fave outright. Cookies and cream. All right, all right. Favorite car? Favorite car would have to be a 7 Series BMW. Okay, all right. Big body. Yeah, all right. I think everybody knows this, but for those who don't, what's your favorite superhero? Oh, man. <laughs> I have a couple. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Batman, Incredible Hulk. Wolverine is pretty good. I love Wolverine. Yeah, I always. Really I thought you. I thought you were a diehard Green Guy fan. I, you know, I got. I gave you. I gave you the Hulk thing. Thought it was gonna be your insignia. 
and I see you it's wearing right. Superman shirts. Yeah. It's right yeah. there. That's it's it. Right there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I have like I have like split personalities. You know, I'm I can be the hook. I mean, you know, hey, just my regular mild mannered, you know. You won't mm -hmm. like you won't like Hank when he's mad. And mm -hmm. that's like it's it's to its truest form. You know, if you go to my job and you ask them, it's like, man, you know, Mr. Alexander, you know, he's a wonderful guy, man, you know, spirited, um, God fearing. Just don't, don't take his him. kindness for weakness. It's a fact. He's gonna it's go up fact. the walls, down the walls, push everything over in here. You know? Gonna be all bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got one of those too. I got yeah. Uh favorite super villain. Oh. Man, villains are kind of insignificant. Um, <laughs> uh, they, they serve their purpose. <laughs> they just give heroes exercise. Um, <laughs> Penguin? Is that your favorite? <laughs> he, he's the only one, I guess, that kind of stuck in my head because when the when the true enjoyable superhero movies started to come out batman was rolling you know mm -hmm. penguin was you know it was penguin 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 he kind of just stuck in my head you mm -hmm. know little round little round fellow hey yeah. who's afraid of him but he's yeah. you know he's ultra evil you know right right he can talk to the aquatic birds you gotta love him <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I don't>, <laughs> I'm a, you know, I'm a superhero with no, you know, I have no villains around me or, you know, no kryptonites. You know what I mean? You know? Okay. All right. All right. Play it cool. <laughs> Play it cool, hot shot. <laughs> <laughs> favorite sport? Oh, football, I, I would say is my favorite sport. I would say it. Uh -huh. I would say it. Favorite would. position? Uh, middle linebacker. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Middle linebacker should have capes, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. They get they yeah. What's uh what's your favorite shoe ever? Puma suede, low quarter suede puma. I found some in my size actually online and had them sent to me immediately. The classic black and white. Black and white, green and white. I had some black and red, blue and mm -hmm. white, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Favorite emoji? Uh, the flex. <laughs> Get it all in there. <laughs> uh, favorite game console? Uh, PlayStation. Okay. Uh, favorite movie? Eight Seconds of Glory, which says on my tattoo on your tattoo eight seconds of glory the lane frog story you know birth to death he died riding bulls he was a he was a, a famous bull rider oh wow okay yeah. um favorite subject in school oh man if you don't <laughs> stop cussing me <laughs> uh agriculture animal husbandry that was a subject in school High school, I was an FFA. I was, you know, I was gonna be an ag major in, in college. So yeah, you know. What? Oh, yeah. The rest of it? Ugh. Damn that option. There, there was no go for the rest of it. Huh? No go. <laughs> <laughs> they made me be there. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what's your most watched fish tuber? Uh man. Can't say yourself. No, because I don't watch me. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever seen a replay. Um, <laughs> you know, I've counseled a lot of people. Um, mm -hmm. Since I've been doing this, mm -hmm. I've counseled a lot of people. <laughs> um, uh, man. Okay, let me close my eyes. Let me go to my watch list because see, I got a lot of Bigfoot stuff and Dog Man and uh. <laughs> you. 
<laughs> that, that was, that was going to be a next question. <laughs> it's going to be a question. Uh, I watch everybody pretty much equally. All of those people that I cut for. Okay. 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 Well, if you if you put out something, I'm gonna hit you with the watch later, and as soon as I'm off work, I binge. So, okay, I see everybody except for those other people. <laughs> those other people don't get it, huh? No, <laughs> no, no. <not. laughs> I don't even want to. You know, how sometimes it'll pop up because somebody you. You will subscribe to watch it, and they say we think you might know. Whatever I can do, to make <laughs> you might enjoy. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put this up here no more. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, favorite seafood? Alligator. Okay. And well, favorite? Would you call that seafood? Uh, uh, I, I'm gonna say catfish. Well, no, we'll take alligator if that's your, yeah. He's in the know, he's in the he's, water. Yeah, he's you know. Okay, okay, we'll take it absolutely. A one, A two, you know. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it. Okay, okay. Favorite pizza topping? Italian sausage. Okay. No pineapple. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> The pineapple don't belong on pizza, huh? Don't belong on pizza, man. Don't do it to me. Okay. <laughs> Does a hot dog count Ooh. as a sandwich? Oh, man. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm going to say no. I don't know what I would call it, though, because I've had a lot of wiener sandwiches as a youngster, you know. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, let's get it. Good job. <laughs> That's before, I get, before I get carded over here. All right. Hey. You stepped up into the inferno round. This is how this is going to go. It's either this or it's either that. Okay. It's either this or it's either that. Here we go. Hot or cold? Cold. Okay, bath or shower? Mm, shower. Uh, goldfish or beta? Beta. Beta or guppy? Beta. Beta or killy? Killy. Real killy. Okay, all right. All Not right. hit a up for <laughs> okay. All right. Short or tall? Short. Arapaima or alligator gar? Arapaima. Mammal or reptile? Mammal. Starburst or Skittles? Skittles. Eminem or Reese's? Reese's. Everything. <laughs> Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Chocolate or cookies and cream? Cookies and cream. <laughs> great movie or a great show? Great movie. Tacos or burgers? Tacos. Bacon or sausage? Sausage. Pig or cow? Pig. <laughs> Mornings or nights? Morning. Okay. All right. Breakfast for dinner or dinner for dinner? Breakfast for dinner. Okay. Weekdays or weekends? Weekdays. Okay. All right. Uh, YouTube shorts or TikTok? YouTube shorts. <laughs> you got to say that for the culture. Disney World or Universal Studios? They both call too much Disney World. It's a facts. High coffee or iced coffee? Oh, man. Iced coffee. <laughs> okay. Um, caramel macchiato at Starbucks or caramel frappuccino? Caramel frappuccino. 
My son right. works at Starbucks. All right. I take the macchiato every time. Beach sand or mountaintops? Mountaintop. A little late or super early? Super early. Brains or body? Brains. Boobs or butt? Boobs. <laughs> Fish sticks or chicken nuggets? Fish sticks. Quick trip or a mobile? Quick trip. Okay. CVS or Walgreens? CVS. Oh, okay. French fries or tater tots? Tater tots. Buffy or Blade? Is that the Vampire Slayer? That would be both. Yeah. <laughs> Blade. <laughs> <laughs> no one goes for Buffy. I got to find somebody else to go against Blade. <laughs> Blade or Terminator? <laughs> Blade. <laughs> Blade or Django? <laughs> Hey, Django. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? Oh, man. Mortal Kombat. Mario or Luigi? Mario. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs or fish? Fish. <laughs> you better. <laughs> Lois Lane? Lois Lane or Mary Jane? Lois Lane. Okay. All right. All right. Cash or credit? Credit. Plane, train, or car? Car. Um, home cooked meal or go out? Go out. Okay. All right. I like it. I like it. We're rolling right through that one. Rolling right through that one. <laughs> hey, that's because I, I pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you you yeah, you had it, you had it rocking on that one. Had it rocking on that one. All right. Let's get into the fill it in. Fill it in. Fill it in. My worst job ever was. I used to. I worked at a, a ornamental concrete place where they actually made figurines and stuff. Okay. And I used to work there. And if you bought something, not to I ten, I was gonna pack it to your car. Where well, that was back when they used to make the uh, black figurines with the watermelon and stuff like that. Oh shit! And oh, I would God. never, and I would never pack to your car. <laughs> <laughs> Worst job ever. <laughs> gotta, gotta be, oh my God. Woo. Uh, now, what was your first job ever? We how do I quantify that? Um okay, my mother was a seamstress. Okay. For those that don't know what a seamstress is, it's the same as a tailor, except a female. And she would pay me to pick up pins, you know, stray pins and clean up thread, re-spool thread, oh, know, man. pick up old material remnants. Oh. And yeah, and I got paid to do it, but yeah, yeah. TDS. Yeah, yeah, egregious. <laughs> uh the by far the best vacation spot is. Man. I don't vacation. Anywhere that I can go with my wife and there's nobody else there but us. Okay. So you're trying to hit an island of some sorts. Hey, it could be a best method. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the name of my first fish was. Man. Uh, man, you might need to change that question to what's the first fish you named? Because my first fish didn't have a name. Yeah, but uh, yeah. well, well, it would be whatever, whatever was the first fish you gave a name. Then. Okay, Daredevil was was the, the um, Hellboy better that I had that one best in show on the YouTube Anabantoid uh, project. 
Okay. All right. All right. Shout it out. <laughs> if you could remake a movie and star in it, what movie would it be? Ooh. Original coming to America. Who? Who would you be? <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be the um um Arsenio Hall. You'd be Simi. <laughs> Everybody he played. <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? The bar the barber, yeah, the barber sexual chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody might- played. His mama name him Clay. I'm gonna call him Clay. Name Clay. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Clay. He was also us. Uh, uh, oh, he was the pastor, Randy Watson. <laughs> it's so good, Pastor. Uh, been with me ever since I was a little boy. Kiss him on the cheek. He wiped it with his. Don't be kissing me, Randy. <laughs> I'm the pastor. We don't get down like that. I'm, I'm trying to play with. <laughs> All right, create create my Ooh. own dream tank. What would you? What size would it be? And what would you stock it with? Okay, it's changed from a while ago, but my dream tank would maybe be like a 90, 90 gallon. Because it still has that same footprint as like your 40 breeders and whatnot, but yet it's still big. A mm-hmm. 90, 90 gallon um biotope of I'm really in love with this Sir Pay and Ember Tetra tank right now. So it's ironic you asked me that. So it'd be like maybe a 90 gallon version of this tank. With canister filters on it. Okay. Rimless. Okay. With more um bamboo than that. But that's that'll be pretty much it. And you would have you would stock it with with these surfaces, it would be like man, 50 of them in it. Okay. Okay. Y'all like get y'all that. some surfay touch. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, if Thanos snapped and half your tank's gone, which half do you want to keep that you hoped he didn't snap away? Six. Okay, I have six technically right now. Okay. I would keep the glow light tetras over here. I would keep the surpays. And the blood fins and um no I don't know Daniel. No. I keep these uh neons that they wouldn't die on me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's next. If you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Notice a breeding pair in your tank. What do you do? First thing you do. Depending on the type of fish, but um, take them out and put them in their own tank. Okay. Okay. If you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. You know it's a fish with Popeye. What do you do? Take him out, put him into a hospital tank, get a salt bath and some peas, blanch some peas and, and feed him the, the pea skin, you know, to see if there's some internal stuff going on, but using the salt bath, if it's something that's causing it from the outside of it. Okay. Stop your brain like a poisonous 
You notice ick in your tank. What do you do? Turn up the temperature first thing, then drop some salt. Okay. Okay. You notice a uh, bully in your tank. What do you do? Take him and put him outside with the guppy. <laughs> Take him and do what with him? <laughs> put him outside in the in the little pond out there on the patio with the guppy. <laughs> you <go> to, okay. <laughs> I have a lemon tetra out there right now. That's a fool. <laughs> If you got a problem, you all solve it. Parents eating the babies. What's the first thing you do? Pull the baby. Pull the babies out. Because once you get started in the tank, the parents are not thinking about eating them no more. So you can successfully take the rest of them. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, you notice a tank leak. You got $25 to your name. What's the first thing you're going to do? Take my fish out. And drain the tank. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't have a replacement tank nowhere. Oh, that's not part of the question. <laughs> yeah, no extra tanks. And then buy a tote from Walmart with the twenty-five dollars. And then there you go. And then get some energy drinks and maybe some, uh, <laughs> some chips. Some, chips. some Reese's Reese's cups. <laughs> All the stuff, all your favorite stuff on the 25 at Wally's World. <laughs> I'm not mad at none of that. I'm not mad at none of that. <laughs> Very good, Big Tank Hank. He did it, you guys. He didn't mess around with me. He was prepared and ready to rock. I appreciate that, Big Tank oh, Hank. I appreciate you. Hey man, we we didn't we didn't went over our time, but you know that's what happens when you have fun. I'm looking into the chat right now. If anybody has any questions, any questions at all for Big Tank Hank, Big Tank, can you please tell us when you are on live and uh, let us know all your info, how to get in touch with you for those that don't know. Well, Friday nights, ten thirty Central. I have my live stream on Big Tank Hank channel. Um, email V. Big Tank Hank at uh, gmail.com. Um, I'm on Facebook as Garrick Alexander, also Big Tank Hank. Um, Instagram, Big Tank Hank. And those are the ways you can get in touch with me. Hit me on Messenger. You know, Messenger and that email is the biggest, the biggest ways to get in touch with me. There it is. There it is. Big Tank Hank. That's his info there. And we have a question. Jay Watts wants to know why boobs over butt? Very, very intellectual and intelligent question from Jay Watts. He's an animal. <laughs> because those were the first thing that attracted me about my wife. I don't, butts are still good. I didn't throw butts away because she has one of those too. <laughs> But she was facing me when I first saw her. So, you know, she's also beautiful. You know, she had the right kind of hair. You know, it was short and layered, you know. Okay, okay. Right. She right. had some right. uh, pedal pusher shorts on it. Oh, my fault. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, look, speak and on was, your wife. Hey, speak on your queen. Speak on your plus queen. Years ago, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you picked brains over body, but you noticed everything. Pick, like, look, yeah. speak on your, hey, look, speak, speak on your queen. If she couldn't have a conversation with me, a real one, because I'm gonna tell y'all, well, you know, you know, you watch, you know, if you watch all of my live streams, every now and then I'll go there a little bit. I can, mm. I can take you there on some, on some thought provoking, you know, conversations. And you trust me, only the right people need to hear my feelings about everything. <laughs> For facts, facts. When did Hank's hair decide that it had enough from Rikistan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of this. I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, I was about 23, about 23 years old. And do you remember when, you know, you get the, 
the part like Larry Johnson used to have in the middle right there. Yeah, the part. That's, that's the that's the Eddie Monster. Everybody used to call it the Eddie. Uh, no, the, the part. part. You know, oh, just the part. Monster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a like a sixties pimp. Yeah. <laughs> I used to get that. I used to get that little part right there. And then one time I got it, and it looked like a uh, question mark. <laughs> And then the question mark got bigger. <laughs> you know, so it was it was like, hey, I see a problem here. You know? <laughs> trying to hold on to mine as long as possible. It is fate. Yeah. <laughs> when you can no longer hold an intentional edge up. <laughs> man. Hey, look, I told my barber, I said, hey, man, the last dude that got out the last dude chair. Hey man, it just cut all mine. Don't even ask me about. It. Man, he, he boy was lining his stuff up in the middle of his head. Man, I was like, hell no, bro, it's done, son. <laughs> hey, if I gotta line you up at the top of your head, <laughs> easy. Hey, that's crazy, son. <laughs> You're daring anybody to ask you about that happen. My God, you, you are got losing. a mean mug at all times. I don't know where you from, B, because you cannot get around on my block looking <laughs> like that. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Look, look, hey, why is hey. we not far behind you? <laughs> get that wig, says Banana Boy. <laughs> Dude, they, man, people, guys are paying. Guys are paying to get these. You know how the women got the weave, man? They got man, they are man transforming. I've seen fades. Yeah, fades. Yeah, I've seen them. Hey, Bro, they but you transforming can't go back to where man. you from, though. Man. How do you just how do you just show back up with a Who? With, with, oh. with, 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 with waves, you know, nice <laughs> fade, <laughs> waves. How do you just show back up, man? You can't do it. You can't do it. Look, my barber said, I want to try something with you, man. He hit me with the little follicles. I was like, ah, I ain't bad. I went, went to my partner house. He was like, man, who you think you fooling with that, man? You get out of here, man. <laughs> he said, yeah, rub your head down like this. Nah, man, leave me alone, bro. <laughs> you can't get You got to move to a whole nother state, Ooh, man. <laughs> no. You got to start over. <laughs> and look, that spray. Sweat beads right on top of it. No. So you no. still can't get away. There's no way you can get that off. Oh. Florida. No way. You got to move to Montana to get your hair. <laughs> like that, G. You got to have so, you got to have a constant AC, cold weather, Ooh. cool. Weather. No. You can't sweat, and I sweat way too profusely and so <laughs> around. So I know it's no. going to go. I know. I just. Uh, uh, I, goodness, no. <laughs> hey, I wasn't going. I had one little. I had one little moment in time, y'all, and y'all understand it. When I first confessed my calling to ministry to preach, and I was in the church, in and pulpit preaching. When I was that guy, I had a little slight, little fro. <laughs> you see, I have. I have Creole hair. I say it like that, you know. And just imagine, you know, my dark skin, but yet my hair is like that. People would be like, oh, my God, you got a Jerry girl? No. No. Nope. That's my hair. Yes. But yeah, I was trying to hold on to the little, you know, I had the little preacher. I looked like a preacher, a stereotypical preacher. It's thin up here, but it's still hair. And then, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. It was like, no, oh, man, man, I I need to cut that off. I don't don't play like that. Look, this, fool, little... <laughs> this fool says black food coloring and gorilla glue, so we can go crazy. <laughs> 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 oh my god, man! Hey, Look, you'll keep it for my burnt egg. <laughs> the These cats is crazy. No. <laughs> man, yeah, man. When it's time, it's time. Oh. I, and and I I've been trying to get the full beer, but it's aggravating, man. So I look because if I let it go here, I gotta have something facially. You got the you got the Steve Harvey flavor saver. John has the big the big uh, what's this thing called <laughs> the, the, the chin? What is this? Go, well, uh, soul patch. 
Yeah, but John's John's is fat and it's a goatee. It's a goatee on him. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta have something to look at, man, to, to take away from that from that from that from that shiner. I don't <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. So your beer was, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, <laughs> that's not bad. I like that. That's kind of cool right there. Would you would you just shave that or it could grow anytime? It can grow anytime. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. when I, my Achilles was ruptured. You know, and I was, when I when I started keeping fish again, really, and mm -hmm. got on YouTube, I'm sitting at the house slightly battling depression. So oh, see, oh. that it was trimmed up. So I was, you know, I was coming through at that point. It was a point where it was just, it was just hair. You know, it was. Yeah, yeah, out there. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta train. I didn't know you had to train a beard, man. You gotta train yeah. a beard. The beard gotta be trained. You gotta make sure that it and don't even. You can't even cut off the little loose wild hairs. You just gotta keep it going. Yeah, going. you gotta be able to lay. Yeah. Hey, this this mustache would be all up in my nose, and it'll be all up here like this. <laughs> if it would, I have I have a little comb in there. And I don't know you notice me doing this every now and then. <laughs> Shaving it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, every time I see that mustache, be like, uh, Steve Harvey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about people's faux bias today. Faux bias means you scared of something. <laughs> What'd you say? Pho phobia. <laughs> Hey, Steve. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Yeah, that's Steve Harvey for you. Like, ah. Hey, they be a faux buyer, fool. A faux buyer? A faux buyer. I said it wrong. Oh, my God. Hey, he don't, he don't, he, look, he be putting it out there. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen, we could do this all night. But listen, you guys, I'm not going to keep Hank, man. I'll probably end up talking to him backstage. Jay Watts, if you want to jump in or somebody, man, that, that that wants to continue, we'll pat you in. But for right now, man, we're going to jump off this live. I appreciate you guys who stuck around. Monica Lynn, um, Jay Watts, all of my uh, mods that stuck it in and, and was able to make, make sure they put out everybody's links and everything else. I appreciate you. Don't miss Monday night, 9 p.m., where I will be with Zinzo from Tazawa Tanks. We're going to get him into the hot spot and see if we can not rattle him up a little bit. All right? Listen, one love for you all, man. Big Tank, last word. All right, people, people, people. Thank y'all, first of all, for riding this out with us. And you know, like I say, love somebody. Take care of those fish. You're not alone, people. You're not alone. I love you if don't nobody else love you. Hey. That's real. Hey, y'all, we out of here. The wet stuff is the best stuff. You already know. Get your tanks together. Peace.